Hello everybody! These are the best chases I've had on my channel this year. Part 2. I hope for your support for this video. Enjoy watching. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. I'd be happy to respond to your comments below the video. For these videos, I once again want to thank Police Pursuits. The links to the originals will be in the description. This chase begins when a bird police officer caught the speeding and dangerous driving of a black Dodge Charger Hellcat with ridiculously huge wheels. Almost immediately, the speed of the chase passed 100 miles per hour, and then 130 within the city. It was lucky that no one was hurt at that speed and running red lights that many times. Because of the speed of the chase, there was no way for the police to get ahead of the suspect and use spikes. The suspect was found and arrested within 30 minutes. It is amazing how after such a hit, he did not get injured and still managed to run some distance. In this video, you see a black Hyundai Sonata stolen a few days earlier pull into the school parking lot. A couple of suspects get out and in a few minutes steal the same Hyundai Sonata. The school security guards immediately reported the incident to the police and both cars were quickly found, after which a chase ensued. Washington, 
The stolen Sonata from the school was found abandoned 10 miles from the time the suspects were separated. It's an hour coming up to the parkway right now. They just wrecked, they just wrecked. We got a wreck. They lost their bumper, but they're going back eastbound. eastbound. After an unsuccessful maneuver, the black Hyundai Sonata skidded and ran into the curb, where it blew her rear tire. That was the beginning of the end of the chase. Continuing northbound past town center, 50 miles an hour. 24, you going to get a plate on that Hyundai? Well, it's hemmed. They're starting to lose it, though. We're coming up to Bender here. Going down for traffic, trying to leave there. Looks like the left rear tires starting to fall apart. Going westbound on Bender. Continuing westbound on Bender. Wrong lane of traffic. Losing tires. 24 degrees Take us back out to Bender. Speeds are going to be 19 miles an hour. Looks like they they just crashed. They just crashed. The suspects in the black Sonata have been arrested. The fate of the driver of the other Sonata is unknown. Earlier, this Nissan Versa managed to escape from the chase after driving over the speed limit. After that, the policeman from the car you now see in the footage moved out to look out for him. And while he drove out, the suspect himself came to him. Of course, this time he wasn't going to stop either which is why the police officer was looking for an opportunity to make a pit maneuver almost immediately. This part of the chase, I will leave without comment. The suspect hit the brakes every time a police officer attempted a pit maneuver, which by the way was working until he drove himself into a dead end.
After a brief foot chase through the woods, the suspect was apprehended and taken to jail. We are coming up. The police officer where the camera is installed is to perform pit maneuvers, so he is the one called to end the chase for the stolen car, speeding up the moment of the way to the suspect. In the future, these annoying squeaks won't happen. I've cleaned them all up. 161 or 440. The officers wasted no time and finished the chase almost immediately. <laughs> Little Rock, Arkansas. Arkansas State Police Trooper Bird stopped a Nissan Sentra driver for speeding and having a fictitious plate. Hey there. My window don't work, sir. That's fine. Hey, I'm Trooper Bird with Arkansas State Police. The reason I stopped you is because the one you were driving 60, uh, 70 and a 60, all right, when you passed me by Children's Hospital, two, the tags don't belong to the car. Do you have a driver's license on you? No, sir. Why not? I'm just going to go put my Do you have an ID? Yes, sir. What is your name? King Jefferson. Can I see your ID, please? Where'd you get this license plate at? It's my girl's car. I can call her for you. What's her name? Angel Love. Okay. What's her dad's name? Sylvester Love. Okay. I'm sorry, I ain't even got a window. You don't have an ID with you? No, sir. All right. Do me a favor. Put your hands on the steering wheel. Don't move. Don't move your hands. But after a short conversation, the suspect decided to try to escape. I will leave the next part of the chase without comment, as it is a pleasure to watch the professional actions of the police officer driving. Going in 
to the Target Depot parking lot. Well, now we're in a parking garage. We're in a parking garage. Going back toward Target. We came out of parking garage. Headed back toward University. Same bond direction. Northbound University. After a brief struggle, the driver fled again, this time on foot, towards an apartment complex where Trooper Bird and backup units took the driver into custody. A handgun was found in the suspect's vehicle. He was transported to the Pulaski County Regional Detention Center to await charges. Unfortunately, the reason for the chase is not known. But what is known is that a police officer from the Arkansas State Police Department was requested to help perform a pit maneuver to stop a white Nissan. As I was advised under the last video, not all police officers are licensed to perform the pit maneuver. Why I didn't come to that conclusion myself, I don't know. But thanks for your answers. Thank <laughs> you. 
couldn't even tell where, who was who there. I was trying to get up there with my bumper. I know you don't want to pick that thing. Oh, hey, man. Huh? Do what you got to do. Oh, yeah. You got his pick? Okay. Huh? Unfortunately, the entire conversation with the suspect is missing, but the part with the claims against the police officer by the suspect for such a pit maneuver remains. The full version of the video is available at the link. I've left you a fragment of what's left of the Nissan Altima. The chase began when a policeman caught a Honda Accord speeding, which was also driving without its headlights on. Note that the speed has passed 100 miles per hour, and this is not the end of the line. I recommend that you look at the speedometer from time to time during the entire video. The suspect throws the bag out the car window. As it turns out, it was stuffed to the top with drugs. The suspect was arrested and taken to prison. Again, the chase began when a police officer caught the suspect driving over the speed limit. A rewinding monotonous ride. Unfortunately, the original sound is not of perfect quality. Stop! Come here! 
Unfortunately, the suspect chooses the wrong speed to make the turn and ends the chase without damaging others around him. The chase began when a police officer noticed a group of street racers speeding. The Dodge Charger 5.7 was chosen for the stop because it was the only one missing a license plate. As I understand it, they choose the one who violated the most or the one without plates, since all the plates of the others were caught on camera. Interestingly, the police charger of the previous generation is not behind the new one, even though they have different gearboxes, which usually lead to an improvement in dynamics. Perhaps in this case, the police charger's all-wheel drive makes more of a difference than the modern transmission. Note that the picture now comes from a different police car, but the sound remains from the original one.
shot for it again, stand by. Hit it again, uh... The detainees were taken to the police department. You can see the full video at the link in the description. According to the police officer, the chase began when the driver of the Chevrolet pickup truck was driving slightly over the speed limit with his high beams lights on. He would have gotten off with a warning and moved on, but no, he decided to commit a felony. Of course, there will be your favorite rubric, excuses for the arrested. The chase lasted over one hour. I tried to keep your viewing time comfortable, but there was almost nothing to cut out. 16 on. George Frank, Charles David, Charles X Ray. George Frank, Charles David, Charles X Ray. The Gray Chevrolet pickup. Tell me 37. We're headed towards Highway 332. From the way the Chevrolet driver passes turn and will pass the others, it seems to me that he only has brakes working on the rear axle. What do you think? This is the point for those who write. I would have been able to stop it for the first time. Maybe you could have, but look at the speed, over 80 miles per hour, and look at the side of the road, which goes down and the trees behind it. One wrong move, and it could have ended very badly for a policeman. The tires are sticking out past the truck. I think that's what's messing me up. <laughs> Yeah, hold on. Passing Highway 195, no traffic, taken by my own. Alright, alright, let's see. Alright, he's in the ditch. Alright, we're back out. Tried to push him. 
out of the ditch. Now we're headed back south to Thornton County. Alright, there's right Unfortunately, an unsuccessful attempt to use spikes. Well, he got sideways in the ditch. Now he's back on County Road 17, headed back west. Again, an example of the fact that the Chevrolet has brakes at this point only on the rear axle. trying to come back to you like you did me. Yeah. 
his brakes. You hurt anywhere? Yeah, I'm hurt. My back hurt. Your back's hurt? Yeah, I can't stand. Do you have your seatbelt on or what? Yes, sir. Well, I'm Trooper Price with State Police. I was going to stop you for your bright lights, all right? Then you didn't do your turn signal turning on Heinz Boulevard. Then you got up to 38 and the 15, okay? I was going to stop and have a talk with you and probably just write you a warning, all right? But now you're catching a felony over something stupid. For real? Yes, sir. I only got nothing on my wrist. So why run? Why? I don't get no trouble. Well, you're in trouble now. Yeah. And now your truck's down in the creek. You're lucky you didn't kill nobody come around all them curves on the wrong side of the road. Nothing to drink? No, sir. No dope? No, sir. So why run? How old are you? Huh? Well, you just caught yourself a felony. You understand that?